up guys, this is episode 4 <coughs> of the Lego show and today I will be doing a review on my Lego minifig quilt order. So yeah, I'll just open this. Yeah, oh, and then there's minifig quilt, blah blah blah, on the back. <clears throat> and yeah. So um this is what I ordered. I got a crate, um some other weapon and the whole assortment of weapons. And I think including postage this was like a twenty five dollar order. Oh, I'm not sure. Can't really remember. So I'll show you the crate first. Come sealed nice in bags. <coughs> As always. And then the crate looks like the mystery box of black ops and all that. And then lid fits on nice and tightly. It's nice and good fit inside. It's really big. Um, I got a bazooka just to put it in here, or um, I also got another combat shotgun because I might fill it with combat shotguns for some random reason. Yeah, I'm not sure what, which one of them I'll do, but um. Yeah, I was thinking I might do a stop motion, like, mystery box, because, it, it, like, I think it was designed to be the mystery box of Black Ops and all that. But, um, yeah. There it is. The Brick Arms crate. So um now well this is the this is my M two four nine I think and the freebie weapons and then I've also got some body um like pieces for um body and head and legs and stuff for making a modern combat soldier. But um first I'll just just show you these in here and then I'll read out what I've ordered. I got a silver machete, a gunmetal HCSR, a B12 tactical vest in dark tan, a Colt 45 in black, a black bazooka, a black combat shotgun, two micro SMGs in gunmetal. Again, if you'd seen my other video, you'll know that I ordered them last time, but I traded them. So yeah. <clears throat> Then I got a Monday Combat helmet in dark tan, ESS goggles in black, a BB4 pistol holder, which goes on the leg, a crate in brown, not the dark brown, just brown, which you've seen, and a JS2 headset, a M249, and an ARC plus a gunmetal combat knife because it's for the Monday Combat soldier. Just I was using all my other one combat knives. So yeah. I'll just show you. Yeah. So yeah. I'll just empty these out and then show you these. I'll put the armor and everything aside because then I'll show you that afterwards. Put the armor, helmet there, that, goggles, and just to hit it. Then I'll show you these other weapons first. Whoops, sorry. First of all, we have the um, bazooka, basically. Yeah, we go. If 
But um, yeah. So, yeah, this is kind of worse than I thought. The end of it, I did not realize it went outward so much. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But my friend has it in that uh, that plastic that some of the other Pokemon resellers use, and it's like that softer sort of plastic. It's not as shiny. And he was has one in there, and his is a lot better because, and I don't think his is as like trumpet like on the end. So yeah, I might use this for a um like an Af Afghan soldier or something. I don't know. But it's very nice how it, it's moulded to the arm. And then, like, the, you can see the trigger and it's like actually perfectly moulded to the arm. Which is cool. So yeah, there's the trigger. And then, detailing on the back here. And yeah, that's about it. That. And then, I'll just show you it in the crate. Oh yes, it fits. Fits in the crate. Just like that. So yeah, I'll just leave that in there. And then I got combat shotgun, which is very simple. Nothing specky about it. I just want to get like five, and then maybe I'll fill them with the fill the crate with these and then just use the bazooka for like a uh, Iraqi soldier or something I don't know like, like a zombie fighter combat shotgun yeah I, I have other combat shotguns but um in my other order that I ordered yesterday or something um I ordered another one of these and then I'll have like five yeah. I mean, I do have a fair bit of brick arms, but nowhere near as much as other people. Like, if you've seen Clone X39 customs, yeah, so much. Like, like a thousand dollars worth of brick arms <laughs> is a lot of brick arms. So yeah, that's just the combat shotgun. Then. I'll show you the micro SMGs really quickly because if you've watched my other video of these then you know there's nothing really that special about them. They're, they look kind of like nail guns. This gun middle, not very detailed. Hardly any detailing actually at all. But still pretty cool. Um, I might make a Neo figure from the Matrix or something. I don't know. But um, yeah. And then I got a combat knife. You've all seen these. I won't put it on the figure because it's just combat knife. You've all seen these. And yeah, I just got this for the Moon Combat Soldier. And then I got. Ooh, this is very nice. Very cool. An HCSR. Yeah. At last, I got an HCSR. Pretty highly detailed with the loading mechanism here and the scope and ammo clip and everything. And the front, it's got more detailing. Yeah, so that's that. It's a bit fat on the end, I must say. It's a bit fat, but um, yeah. So that's that. And oh, it's very nice how it's moulded to the arm perfectly as well, which is cool. So yeah. Then I'll show you the machete quickly. The machete. So yeah, that's the machete, just there, and then it's got detailing on the handle, and then a uh, blade, and yeah, so that's 
the machete and so yeah so now I'll show you the arc this is a really nice weapon it is good for one combat soldiers um it looks like a bit like the um what's it called uh the I think it's called I think it's the AK rifle something I'm not sure oh yeah AK assault rifle that's it um and on one of the weapons I did last week um it was like a bigger version of this with a grenade launcher underneath and that looked pretty cool so got this <clears throat> and I'm also gonna put it on my modern combat soldier so yeah that's it pretty detailed this is like an X shape because it's got bits on the bottom and then sight thing here and the scope and the shoulder rest that sits on the arm which is nice yeah pretty nice weapon pretty yeah pretty good and then last of all my Colt 45 oh like the Nighthawk it has little holes on there, the handle, it's got nice detailing. I'll show you that in all in a minute. It's got really nice detailing. Really nice. Looks kinda like a desert eagle. You can see like the slide and everything. It looks really nice, really good. It's a really good weapon. Um yeah, I've I've ordered another one of these on my next order. Um and yeah. For my next one, I'm just like doubling up on a lot of weapons because I mainly did it for the minigun. Yes, I'm ordering a minigun in gun metal. So yeah, can't wait for that to come. Should I should have that video up next weekend? Yeah. So yeah, that's Colt 45, and yeah, so I'll make the figure and then I will show you after, like then I'll go around over him again afterwards so yeah um I have prepared this figure which looks pretty terrible but I just did the black neck so you see black underneath I don't usually draw my Lego figures because the German body was skin colour so it just didn't look right so yeah, I'll be using this guy. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Him. I'll be using him. So I'll put him on the stand. And then I'll build him. Oh, this is a bit squished. Hmm. It's got some white marks there, but not as bad as last time I ordered one of these. It was like completely flattened. Still doesn't really work properly. Not that bad, but yeah, unfortunate. There's a bit of squishness. But it'll still look quite fine from the front, and then one of the little white lines will be covered up by the knife in the back here, yeah, so there's just one little line. Doesn't really matter. Not that important. The other thing that's kind of bad about these vests is you can't put anything in there. It's like too small, like every when you put something in there, like a grenade or something, it stretches it and you end up with a white line down in the middle, which is annoying. But yeah, the vest, then helmet, I'll put these goggles on and show you afterwards. So, yeah, I'm just trying to make like a modern combat soldier, because this way, <clears throat> I thought this way would be cheaper than ordering like a three pack or um or another one off another website like an actual official one thought this would be a lot cheaper so yeah I did this because I have to pay for this with my own money and then um yeah show him and then you give him the arc 
and then knife in the back. Yeah. And then on his leg. Put this on. And then put the coat in. Hang on a minute. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So that's the coat and. Oh, it's in there, you can hold it, which is nice, it's a nice look. And then, this headset. Doesn't really fit properly, hang on. Um, yeah, this headset's a little weird. You've kind of got to have it on the face facing, like, rightwards. Otherwise, it doesn't fit. The headset doesn't fit because of the bump on the edge of the vest, <laughs> which sucks. But, oh well. So, yeah, this is my modern combat soldier. Complete. And the ready for action. So yeah, just write down in the comments what you think, how I could improve him, or anything. Just tell me. Just tell me in the comments. Now, tell me I'll die. So I'll just put him there. And then now, sorry, I'll go back to this guy, and I'll show you the. I'll show you. Um. My M249. So this just had the freebies and the M249 in it. So yeah. So this goes in here. And then get the bipod. So that's it. Very highly detailed, very cool, very realistic. Um, yeah. I had another one of these but um gave it to my friend, traded it with him and then so now I um yeah. Bought another one. And I know that you cannot put two hands at once, you can't hold it with two hands. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So yeah, it's the M249, which is really cool. Put that there. And then I'll show you this. Oh, this is the, I think this is the PDW5 or something. Oh, I nearly ordered this, I'm glad I didn't know. I was like, this goes to ordering it. Um, yeah, it's in Aqua, and hang on a minute. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is really cool because this fits in a briefcase, fits in this briefcase. I'll show you that. It just sits in there, in the briefcase. Like that, and 
and then shut it and the minifigure can hold it and just like go all gangster you know walk on the streets and I pretend he's like a businessman and just pull out a gun bang yeah it's a really nice weapon I'm really glad I didn't order that but it's cool that's really cool so um now I'll show you the gold and the gold chain blade I got as a freebie as well. So um yeah, this is the last weapon I got. This was a freebie as well. And yeah. Again I got two freebies and I only spent like twenty something dollars. Not so yeah, that's the golden chain blade. These are pretty rare, at least in Australia, because you can't order them in gold. And it's the same with all of the freebies, which is kind of cool, but sometimes they come in terrible colours. But yeah, so that's the golden chain blade. And then, so yeah, just put it over here, and then move this. And that's my minifigure. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, check out my channel, and subscribe.